Towards total hybrid war. I mean, I should put it like that more. Yes, the hybrid war. Um, World War Three. I think it has been going on for a while now, but it's sort of ratcheting up. Uh, the main actors, I would say, well, there are two, maybe, I don't know. There is the U.S., the U.S., and uh, the West, we we'll call, we'll call it the West, versus China, Russia, Iran. Not Korea. Oh, we could say Venezuela. Uh, Houthis. Well, uh, <coughs> there might be other people, but anyway. So this is uh, this is a hybrid war. Um. What do we mean by hybrid war? As was mentioned in in uh, one of the ways, uh, the, the hybrid war. Some of the aspects are information warfare, warfare, <clears throat> propaganda, things like that, making your population believe in something. Information warfare is very very powerful. Because if you can convince people to believe in something, you can get them to act on that belief. You can have soldiers. You can convince people to go to war. You can convince people to <laughs> commit acts of terror, for instance. Um, so information is a very important tool of warfare and this hybrid warfare. Maybe it's always been that way, but... Um, then there is the... Uh, Political, political destabilization of a society. Uh, society, so it's like um, divide and conquer. You know, uh, uh, um, inter-ethnic, uh, ethnic or or religious. Uh, disharmony are um, what else like uh, use uh, issues like political issues like uh, minority rights <laughs> uh, uh, use these as tools of warfare to divide a society from within uh, by making a divided to the point where it becomes difficult to govern, uh, like, um, what do you say? Oh, anyway, I lost the thought. Uh, yeah, uh, then, uh, I guess part of the information warfare is, uh, lose trust in institution, in government institutions, Institutions such as uh, such as media. So when the people stop trusting what their governments say, what the media tells them, it can lead to a paralysis of the society because the society becomes dysfunctional. Look at America; it's a case in point. I mean, the whole the country is totally divided, and even law, lawfare, you can just lawfare. Uh, look at how, like, they're going after Trump, um, 
and also like you know how the uh, the, 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 the Texas the border uh, governor uh, does not uh, implement Supreme Court orders. So as you can destabilize the society, uh, like, you know, like when the people lose trust in their government, in their legal institutions, it becomes dysfunctional, it becomes paralyzed. Like it paralyzes dysfunctional, uh, divided. Uh, it doesn't have to be open kind of shooting war. You can actually get people to distrust each other or hate each other. <laughs> and such a society, uh, uh, it can. It's a kind of collapsing from within. And also, you can add economic warfare. You know, economic warfare. Uh, you know, America does this all the time, sanctions and stuff like that. But um, uh, another way to damage the economy is by, for instance, destroying uh, the food production sources, you know, like those Texas fire. And, you know, like all these stories you hear, all these uh, uh, factories, like chicken factories being uh, burning. And also you're hearing stories about these avian flu uh, you know, when you have these flu things, you have to kill the crop. I mean, you have to kill the. I mean, I'm 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 not a. I don't advocate eating animals, but you know, people do eat animals. But you you destroy their sources of food. You can. This is how you create destabilization of a society. Um, so I think uh, this is another way of the, conducting the war. I think that's happening. I, 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 some people don't want to see it because you have to read Bill Bin. I believe this is what's happening. I don't think this is all just some coincidental. Oh, this is just so uh, you know, just an organic, natural, or you know, it's not inter. No, I think this is some strategic thing happening. Uh, I think societies like, in my opinion, societies like China, Russia, Iran. These are all centralized societies. They're not communist or anything. They are central. They have very strong central governments. And uh, they have a very strong control of the media. They have a strong military. They are more unified. And they are able to survive, in my opinion, in the longer term. And I think it's one of the deliberate strategies to defeat the West is to create... The, the, these countries, my, uh, no one wa I don't think anyone wants to go into an open out world war, you know, nuclear conventional arms, because that'll destroy the planet. So th these people have opted to, to fight using these hybrid means. Uh, All right, uh, something else I want to, uh, why, why are we here? What's, what, what's the cause of this? It's about power. It's about like how the people who are at the top, the elites, the cabal, the mobsters. Um, and I would say it's mostly in the West. The, the, I, I don't think the Chinese, Chinese have their own elites. The Russians have their own elites. They all have elites. But I think the Western elites they want to rule the world. They want the whole world to be there. You know, they want to dominate, control the whole planet. And uh, so I feel like China, Russia, all these guys, are, they are being forced to engage in hybrid warfare in order to, uh, you know, to get these Western elites, or at least because I think those guys are just, they, they won't stop. They will never stop. They will, they will take anything as much as they can take. But maybe the more reasonable people underneath them, they can be forced to realize that the cost of continuing this kind of attempt to dominate the planet, they have to, uh, they have to be lost, some kind of a cost to that. And um, you have to get them to the to the point where they're saying, "All right, we don't want to do this. This is too costly. Let's compromise and let's create this kind of new cooperative, multipolar society where we cooperate with each other instead of trying to dominate the planet." <laughs> you know, 
so we have to go through this historical process uh, uh, in order to get there. The West, the Western elites, the gangsters, they don't want to let go. They, they want to take as much as they can take. And, uh, and that's what we're going through, I believe. <sighs> it kind of sucks. <laughs> this is where we're at. Uh, total hybrid war. We're in it, and uh, I, mean, I don't know how, how long this will last. I don't know. Well, it's possible this could go nuclear and we'll end up destroying each other. That's a possibility, too. Um, but it's something we're going through, and uh, yeah, something to just think about. You know, it's hybrid war, it's not just you have to look beneath the beneath the surface connect the dots it's not just uh, what's on the what's on this you know you have to look underneath the news think about it do research or something you know just yeah <laughs>